if you are doing game in a way where you are clearly hitting on her and she's deciding about you, you absolutely can succeed that way. That's how most intermediate guys, and to be fair, most guys in, in life get laid, right? They go up and they are clearly hitting on the girl. The girl's like, would I, wouldn't I, I don't know. And they're like, well, he's cute, he's charming. There's no one else around, I like sex. Okay, fine, I'll do it. And so she's giving in, right? If on the other hand, you are setting it up so that she's chasing you, and she wonders a little bit if she can have you, then you're gonna get a lot fewer games back from her. Because if she knows she's in the position of power, if she knows she's in control, she knows she's the ultimate decider, you're gonna get a lot more games, you're gonna get a lot more demands, you get a lot more transactional requests, things like that, right? Um, but if, if, if she was worried about losing you or doesn't even know if she can have you, you're gonna be in a much better position. So things like withdrawing your attention if she does something you dislike. Things like when you're making out with her, you being the one to pull away first sometimes. Things like when you're seeding the next step, framing it as, oh, if you do this, you can do it, but I'm not begging you to do it. All of those kind of things, they add up. And each one of these is like 5% here, 5% there, that will add up vibe-wise to you getting fewer games, right? The girl who doesn't know she can have you, but has decided she absolutely wants you, is gonna play very few games. The girl who knows she can have you, but hasn't decided if she wants you, is gonna play a ton of games. All right, so shifting that dynamic is probably the best overall answer to that kind of stuff. And then the other one is potentially slowing down the escalation. So at every moment, the girl has an escalation threshold. It's like, this is zero. This is the escalation she'd be comfortable with that you could do it without getting resistance, right? But if you step over here, now she's uncomfortable and she pulls back. And what you'd like to do theoretically is be at about 85 or 90% of her escalation level. So you're never actually overstepping. And when you do this, She's really comfortable with it, she's enjoying it, and she's kind of wondering why you're not doing that last 10 to 15%. And that makes her A, comfortable, and B, kind of chasing and wondering, which then extends her level she'd be okay with, and then you do 85, 90% of that, et cetera. Whereas if you ever overstep, now you're gonna get a lot more over resistance. So you wanna, you wanna be escalating, but you don't wanna escalate past the level. You wanna be very calibrated in that. So that's the other, the other final piece of that puzzle. At any point of kind of how good the interaction is, how much investment she has, there's a certain level of compliance you can get. <clears throat> and you wanna ask for the compliance you can, but not for the compliance you can't, okay? So if I ask you, <clears throat> when was the moment you knew you liked me? And you give an answer, be like, honestly, like, you just have like, you're just like something, something about your vibe is really good, I just felt really comfortable. You saying that is you investing more in me and taking this kind of thing that was like in the ether and making it very concrete, right? And making it a fact that, that, that it, it, it's a, it's, it's a greater investment in the conversation. There's um, it's a psychological concept called commitment and consistency. When you've, when you've said to certain things, when you've gone along down certain routes, you have to adjust um, what you do in the future to be congruent with what you've done in the past. Right? So anyway, you saying that makes the interaction tangibly better. And by, by me asking that question and you saying the positive thing about me, we are now closer to sex, we are now closer to a relationship, all those kind of things, than if I hadn't said it. But <clears throat> if I walked up as my opener, hey, excuse me, when did you first know you liked me? Fuck off, right? Now, I mean, it could work sometimes. There's some girls that will just be very playful, they'll be compliant or whatever, but there's gonna be a lot of girls that'll not respond as well to that, <clears throat> right? And so for each one of these things, if you can get a yes to it, if you can get her to comply, it will make the interaction tremendously better. But there's a certain threshold of approval you need in order to get that. And so with that question, if you don't have that threshold of approval and you get a rejection, it will hurt the interaction. If you do have that threshold of approval and you get a, a positive to it, it will help the interaction. So part of it is asking at the right timing. But the other thing is phrasing. Very much difference between like, do you like me? And what's your view on drinks and witty banter, right? There's a huge difference in the phrasing of those two things. Okay. There's a very big difference between like, would you consider going on a date with me? Versus what's your view on drinks and witty banter between attractive new friends? Right, that's, it's much more disconnected from you, and it's much more about what's your view on the activity as opposed to do you like me. <clears throat> I almost never will ask do you like me. Like that, that's one that, you know, we talk about nevers, right? I almost never would ask a question like do you like me, right? But I might ask a different version of it, right? What was the first thing you, when was the first moment you knew you liked me? That's a much different question in a much different context when it's clear she does like me. If you've been hanging out with a girl, She's clearly spending all her time with you, coming back to you, she's made out with you. <clears throat> and you're like, when did you, when did you first know you liked me? And that's a great one because if she gives, says a yes to it, it gives a lot of compliance. Mm -hmm.